So this is a new app I found called Sectograph that I'm making a very specific use of, and I thought I'd show you how that works. So this is the app here. This is on a Chromebook. Um, it's generally available for Android and iOS, and I run it on my Android tablet. It's easier to record here. I'll show you quickly how it works and how I'm using it. So the main sector graph is on the left here. You have that, that pie chart of a clock. It's a 12-hour clock, just like you normally have, uh, with a number of lines and some kind of mess in it, but it's actually kind of brilliant once you get used to it. So the dark red line is the hours, the, the current hours. Right now it is 9.42. So the dark red line is 9, and then you see the, the other red line is 42. This red hand will sweep around, and as it goes, you'll see the events coming up. So I see, you see I have an Atlanta, a meeting with Atlanta Real Estate Forum this afternoon. So that's at 2. So that's 4 hours and 18 minutes away, and you can kind of see it sweeping toward it. So I can glance at this whenever I want and see kind of how my day is shaping up, and I have a meeting at 3 right after that. Uh, it's neat how it sweeps around there and shows things. And then as it sweeps, new ones will fill in behind with a two hour gap. So that's what this gray line is. This is showing that this is still this morning. That's the, I guess the 742 time or 743 now time this morning. But now it's this afternoon for the later one. So as it's sweeping around, you can kind of see the events that are coming up in the next 10 hours and see how they go. You can actually skip ahead a little bit, which I don't do often on this, but just to show you how it works, you can kind of see as we get to this afternoon, those meetings are done. You can see, kind of see they still hang out again for that two hour gap behind it. But then eventually it closes up. And now, of course, that's 2 and 3 a.m. So overnight here, it's not going to have much. Um, but then as we hit this evening, we're now 9.43 tonight. You can start to see the morning starting to wake up here. You can kind of see at 7.40, I'm going to be doing Supernatural. At 8.30, I'm going to take a lift to get in the office. Um, so obviously, I'm still sleeping at this point. But when I get up in the morning, this stuff will start to show up. And I can kind of see my day coming and watch it kind of go around, see how much time is between events. And just kind of keep sweeping through like that. Um, this is kind of a lot to deal with if you were playing with it all the time. It's not a great substitute for a normal calendar, uh, but where I'm using it is with a tablet I've set up in front of my desk. And I'll show you how that looks right now. My main monitor on my computer, um, it's actually kind of at a pretty steep angle laying down almost flat, just as kind of a little dashboard for me to look at. And so you can see I have Sectograph there as, as kind of the main piece of it on the right. Really, I could almost make Sectograph just be the entire screen and only have that calendar. I may do that, but for now I'm playing with some different things. So I have that there mostly so I can look at a glance. You can see it's a little bit different than the one I showed you in the first part of the video here. I don't have quite as many events today yet, but you can see, you know, as of this, I have six hours and 23 minutes till my next meeting with Melissa, and I can kind of see my day as it slowly unfolds before me. Above that's just kind of a, a traditional Google widget that shows me things that it thinks I might want to know about, um, meetings and events and airlines and all that kind of stuff. In the upper left is just a Ring doorbell widget. There's not a way to feed Ring video directly to a widget, as far as I can tell. I think you maybe can with other doorbells, but this one, at least if I hear someone at the door, I can tap that and immediately get a, a video feed of what's going on there. Below that on the left is Google Home. Uh, so it's just so I can control the lights in my office. I can control the thermostat up and downstairs, just a quick taps for those. And then below that's ChatGBT. I have that mostly because with the widget, that third icon in, I can tap and get the advanced voice right away. So I want to chat with ChatGBT with my voice. I can just tap that and be talking to my tablet as I'm working. Um, and that's working out pretty well. So. Sectograph is fairly new. I think it's going to be a great use case for this, just to have it sitting there to glance and kind of keep an eye on how my day is unfolding and not miss meetings. But we'll see how it goes. But so far, so good. And that's what I'm making use of. If you've ever set up a tablet or any kind of smart device like that to go alongside your computer, I'll leave a comment. Let me know how you use it. I'm always looking for new ideas on how to make this even a little bit more useful for what I'm doing. Thanks.